What is going on, Warriors? Welcome back to another episode of Nantucket, and this is episode 10, and I am recording this with my new Blue Yeti microphone. So, <laughs> welcome. Um, so, so glad that I was able to finally get this thing. Um, now, this, by the way, I just want to say, if you're enjoying the series, if you're liking this, um, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe on the video because it helps out a lot. That being said, let's get into the, vi the, uh, the video, shall we? Um, I'm going to go ahead and set my timer, actually. I didn't Stopwatch. There we go. Alright, so I've set my stopwatch here, and let's see what we can do here. Notice I don't I don't have to wear the headset anymore. It feels nice. Uh, let's see. So, what do we need to do? I can't take any jobs, can we? Discover a new whaling area. Okay, I can accept that. Alright, let's sail away. It said that's 20, 28 days away. Do I have enough supplies? I actually didn't check that. I'm wondering. Wondering if I have supply. I think I do. Oh yeah. Oh, that's plenty. Plenty of supplies all around. All right. So let's check this out here. We've got a journal, and this is the only thing that we have. They want me to go there, and then of course we've got tribal lessons, which um, Pacific West Coast Indigenous people search for him in coastal villages in order to find out more about the Haida legend. So, wait, hold on. Search for him in coastal villages, but how can I find coastal villages? Like, I don't, I don't know where to go. <laughs> I guess I can search for him there, or I can go here or here, we'll see. Uh, but first we need to go to the new whaling area. So this is, 28 days left. Okay, 28 days away, just like the quest said. We can go at three times the speed. We're also eventually gonna make it to, uh, what's it called? <clears throat> oh yeah, Meyer Quest. All right, Perry. Perry the Platypus. Stop. It's 12 days left. Oh crap. Do I really wanna go there? Spend more time with him. So he loses five morale, but he becomes he, he's not solitary anymore. Or I could teach by example. Believe me. And nothing happens. Um let's spend more time with him. And then who who? Reuben. Hunter Reuben. Okay. Reuben is my hunter, and his only trait is solitary. And that's minus one morale, so he's losing morale and stuff like that. But he actually now has more morale because of this. Also, I can choose... Oh, cool, I can promote him to a cabin boy. Or, from a cabin boy. Let's make him a sailor, I think, because we already have... Well, actually, we don't have a craftsman. But, let's let's make him a sailor. And he also needs an object. Where is he? He's here, in the quarter deck. So, I think it's just something that improves your sailing would be... What is this? Um... In the hole, crafting, okay, but it's only if it's in the hole, okay, let's just not give him anything. But he's no longer solitary, very cool. So let's bring the morale of these people up. I gained one prestige. Cool. And now I have 47 prestige. And a lot of cash. Um, we're gonna go over here to complete this minor quest, and then we're probably gonna go hunt some unpacked whale, and then complete this quest here. Okay, by following your village's instructions, you reach the crew member your crew member's house, a wooden cabin just outside the village. Naked man is at the front door, completely covered in blood. As soon as he sees you, he panics. She told me her husband was at sea, far away. I I had to kill him. He was going to kill me. He was wild and enraged. It was a horrible idea to come here. Or maybe we could still save him? You get lost. So 50% chance we save him, but he becomes uh, but he becomes solitary, grateful and solitary, or 50% chance he dies. Okay, he won, or he's still, he's still alive. Okay, so we completed the quest. We're gonna hunt some humpback whale, and then go over here and discover the new whaling area, potentially grab some more blubber and everything. Okay, very cool. Uh, let's lower the whale boats, let's lead the hunt. What are we fighting here? Can we just lose, use last use? There we go. We got Lewis. Dude, Lewis is freaking amazing. Alright, we got Edgar here. 
Edgar is at 10 hit points, that's not good. Alright. <clears throat> okay, we get. Oh crap, so we got two old whales? That's not good. The heck? The protective maneuver. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna do this. 23 and 19 is. is, uh. how much is that? 42 hit points or something like that? But I. Well, hold on. This this also adds the stun status, so that would probably be good. And then we could just we could still attack. But we could attack this guy and bring him down more, or we could potentially just kill this. If we kill this guy, then the attack goes away. This guy's stunned, so his thing. Okay, well that sucks. Oh, Edgar's dead now already. Holy frick! Okay, this is fastened and bleeding. This is more damage. Let's just do it. I mean, science sides, science dice, science dice, science dice. Object dice sides won't enable, enable commands. We gotta be careful about this. Let's let's make this guy. Can we use that on this? No. We can't. Um okay, well let's do that, and then this guy needs to heal. We gotta be careful about Lewis, dude. We gotta be very careful about Lewis. Okay, let's use the emergency kit, just for this guy, and then this guy can attack. He's attacking Plank yet, then. Overboard resistant. Good, good, good. I think we can make this. I think we can do this without anybody else dying. Uh, but, let's, let's just keep trying. We gotta make sure we, we try. Okay. Oh crap, no, I didn't need to do that! Okay, okay, it was just overboard. Thank goodness, that was scary as frick. Alright. He's overboard. That sucks, actually, because I can't do anything here. And I can't I can't heal a guy from another whale boat. I, all I can do is this. Please don't. Okay, alright, overboard is still good. First, he's still bleeding. That is Oh what? Oh my uh, and I still can't attack, which means I just gotta do this. Oh man, that's really bad. That's so bad. Okay, oh, we did it. We did it. We almost died. We almost died. But we got 54 barrels of blubber. Dude, that's awesome. We got so much blubber. Let's take it back to Horta, actually. Oh, my quarter deck is empty. Crap. Who can be here? Perry? Let's move this guy. Hawkeye, first nest. That's fine. Just, it, it doesn't matter. Just, we gotta just have somebody in there. And then, oh, what? We don't have time for this right now. No, we don't have enough people. Read the letter your captain. During your last city shop stop, you collected your mail. Reading through it now, you discover an envelope from your mother. It's quite unusual for her to write you. So you are pretty sure you have some... Risa says something important happened. You just hope it's something good. Your mother's letter informs you that, that your family is struggling financially. Your father invests a lot of money in savings in the wrong business. Of, of the family savings in the wrong business. And your mother asks you for $300 to help them repay some of the debts. Okay, yeah. As much as you can. Alright, $600 in the envelope. I become diligent and I become generous. Or, I just become diligent. Um, do I already have generous? That's diligence. I already have that. Am I generous? Smart. Skeptical. Rowdy. I am already generous, actually. I'm just gonna lose money here. Money. And healthy. I'm just gonna put $300. Okay. And apparently, he becomes generous. Alright. All right, let's enter the harbor. Uh, let's make sure we heal all our guys. Um, and this is a level three inn, a th level three tavern, so... Make sure we have enough supplies. We have so much freaking food. We have so much food, we're gonna sell all this. Okay, not all of them. Okay, let's, um, how much prestige? Oh, I can, I can afford for quite a bit, quite a bit of prestige. We need two people here. And I have 14 prestige. 
Oh, I can hire a craftsman and a sailor, actually. This, this guy allows you to chop wood and safe docks. Uh, rebalance. Reroll the dice of all the characters on the whale boat. That could work. This guy is balanced rationing. Decrease the crew's food consumption by 10%. Oh, but he's also a drunkard. Okay, well, I also am going to need a sailor, so... Can we do, like, 10, 10 and 4? We can do 10 and 4, so we can get a super experienced sailor. Merchant and shipwright prices are reduced by 10%. Upgrade allows... Oh, that's Captain's Cabin. Very cool. And crew morale increased by 10. And he's sociable. Dude, this guy's good. Let's hire that guy. And then, let's uh, let's get a craftsman here. We have four prestige left. So, I think we can go with Hugo. Or perhaps, no. Because this guy... This guy doesn't have the, uh, the drunkard trait. So it's just balanced rationing. What is this one? Hopping wood? I'm out... Ooh, amount of blubber extracted from whales is increased by 10%. That actually could be really cool. He's a butcher. Do we do that? Or do we do this? Let's decrease food consumption. I think let's do this. And we don't spend as much prestige, and that's fine. We're just not going to take this guy on the fights. We don't want him to die. <laughs> can we, can we, um... We can repair this. 78 bucks. We can't, we can't upgrade it, though. It's kind of weird. Um, well then let's... I want to go and upgrade the ship, though. I want to get the captain's cabin, because we now have... We have a level 10 sailor, and that's awesome. It's freaking awesome, guys. All right, Nantucket. Let's just go to Nantucket. And then after that, then we'll discover the new whaling area, and then... Wait, what? Free your shipmate. Teach him how to be more sociable. It's killing time. Leave him be. Hold on, one of your crew members physically bullies a shipmate, trying to uh, tying him to the main mast with a rope. The solitary man does not react, even if he's pretty ticked off. Teach him how to be more sociable. No, stop being childish. Free your shipmate. Oh. Stop it, you fricker. Alright, enter the harbor. <clears throat> Very cool. We're gonna go in, we're gonna improve the captain's cabin. This is like level 3 everything. Nantucket is just the, the best place. Okay, Captain's Cabin. Why? Oh, you freaking frick, man. Hold on, there's no other technology being researched in the city. Huh? You know what? Is something else being researched? That's still being researched. Dude, that sucks. But this is still being researched. It ends in January of next year. That sucks, dude. That's not cool. Do we have any jobs we can take? Delivered goods in Horta. Alright, we're already going near there, so... Go Greenland Alfred? What? Dude, now I'm, now I'm curious. Now I'm curious. Greenland Alfred? By the way, if the if the mic levels are not good enough, like if they're, if they're like too loud or too quiet or something, then please let me know because I... Who me? What? Ooh. Do me. Game one proceed. Um, let's save first of all. <laughs> let's save and then let's go to Greenland Alfred. Is that some kind of giant octopus or something? Kind of crazy. Try to push him harder. Okay, he adds sociable or minus five morale. Yep. Dang it, man. Dang it, you fricker. All right, so we got. Okay, stop. So we have one point left. We can we can uh, add this somehow. But th these things cost three points. The only thing that costs one point is black market. And in order to do that, I would have to unassign that. So, safe docking. I don't want the safe docking, actually, because the immune to overboard is really useful. I'm, I'm not going to assign a, a point there. But I, I can increase this. I can increase maybe my sailing again. Let me see. Or... Let's take a look at where I am. Okay, um, I'm in the forecastle. I don't have a captain's cabin, but I really want one. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Well, this is crafting. I assigned it to the crafting. And this is where is she? 
crafting level. Oh, but he, we got the level 10 sailor there? Dude, that's bad. Yeah, there you go. We got the places there. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna assign a point here, uh, to, to here, but I, I would like to potentially, I guess, I don't know, let's increase hunting. Let's increase hunting. Go. We're, we're good. Unpause. We're gonna save the point. Alright, very cool. Let's go over here, go to the whale boats, prepare the hunt. Dude, I'm, I'm scared. I'm really scared, actually. Okay, we got Ruben over here. Let's uh, let's put Santiago there. We only got we only got a small chance of attacking here, but let's let's work on it. Let's see if we can do it. Dude, Greenland Alfred. He's a legendary killer whale. Damage against targets already attacked in the same phase is plus fifty percent. Plus, we also got a newborn whale. All right, let's just attack this guy right now. He's just dead. Newborn whale dead. This guy is immersing himself. Okay, no bleeding. Everybody on this whaleboat is immune to bleeding. It's someone also on this. Very cool. Um, now we can't actually... Oh, no, we can't. We can't do that. We can't attack that guy because he's immersed. We'll do that. He's bleeding. What Now what is... What's going on with this thing? I just, uh... What? We damage to others. What? What is that? I don't know what just happened there. At plus 50% base damage to other creatures this turn. Oh man. Okay, so let's um let's go ahead and attack this guy here. Hold on, we oh no, we could. Oh man, this is tough. Um well nobody's actually being attacked, so we could hold on. We could kill the we could kill the, the legendary whale here. We could kill the killer whale. Boom. And then if we attack again, then we kill the killer whale. Now it just increases damage to others, but that's it. There's nothing else to do. And then we kill him here. We kill this guy. Nobody died. Dude, that's awesome. We actually won. 44 barrels of blubber, 20 barrels of food, and we got the quest. Oh, we need to leave some food though. That's that's quite a lot, quite a bit of uh, a bit of stuff. And we're going to deliver goods in Horta. All right, we're going to do that. We're gonna we're gonna deliver the goods and we're gonna go back to Nantucket. All right, name save. Oh, I get fifty dollars or fill the spoils with the mates. Everybody, I can't. Please. Hold on. One of your men who's particularly content at your command and well known for being a generous generous person comes to you to share part of his gambling spoils because he believes you bring him good luck. I cannot accept it, but thank you. Let's share the spoils with the mates. Everybody gets one more out. I don't, I don't need the extra fifty dollars, dude. I got plenty. All right, unload the shipments. Let's enter the harbor. Everybody heals, right? We almost had somebody die there, but I'm, I'm very grateful that we actually were able to do this. All right, so we're still trying to discover a whaling area there. Let's go ahead and sail away immediately. We have enough supplies. Everything's all good. We always get diverted. Can you believe this? Greenland? What was the guy's name? Greenland what? Greenland Alfred. Alright, so we gotta go to, uh, to Nantucket now. We gotta turn in these, um... We gotta turn in these quests here. Enter the harbor. Boom. Alright, and then let's accept these jobs. Yeah, boom. We get some XP, some money, and three prestige. This is awesome. Uh, we still can't get the captain's cabin, but we will eventually. Let's make sure we have enough money or enough supplies there. Oh yeah, we definitely need more water. All right, so we're good there. Um, and then we also need to build up prestige before we upgrade our boat again, because I realized that eventually we're gonna want like a we're gonna want like a, a level three ship, so we can have three whaling boats. But we're gonna have to have a lot of prestige so we can actually put high skill people in those whaling boats. Whale boats. Whale boats, sail boats. Also, look at Hispaniola on this map. This is. That's such a bad depiction of Hispaniola. Um, okay, so that's one of these quotes from Well, it's in the Mediterranean. What? Alright. Uh, crap, dude. 
Just throw a barrel of food away, that's fine. Alright, we're gonna see if we can discover a thing. Check the area. We got Oh, a shark encounter. Wonderful. Last used. Alright, let's do this, dude. Alright. Remembers command. Oh. What is this? And what does this do? Resurrection? What? That's awesome. Okay, let's also... I'm gonna switch to my sailing side of my die for Planky as soon as I get a chance. Okay, I have three old sharks. That's bad. This is bad. I, but I can kill one. I can kill one on this turn. It doesn't really matter which one I choose, I suppose. I'll just kill one. And it looks like they're all targeting themselves. They both die. What? Oh, I forgot to set this guy to freaking... Okay. And I can only protect one of these guys. Let's just protect Perry. I mean... Let's do that. Alright. He's immersed. He did 9 damage. And of course, these guys are all immune to bleeding, so I don't even need to worry about it. Okay, so... And then 20 damage and 19 damage. That means I can kill this guy. Creatures play their cards face out. That's good. Boom. Done. Alright, that's fine. Dude, we're gonna win. It's not even an issue. That's it. I, I mean, it's it's not a new whaling area, right? Um, I did get a lot of food. Dang, that's a lot of freaking food. Holy frick. Alright, let's go to Cape Town. Um, perhaps... I don't, I don't know where to go for this quest. I actually don't know where to go. Because it's it just says coastal villages. It doesn't give me, like an icon of where I'm supposed to go. So, like, the diary was written by a scholar studying the Pacific West Coast indigenous people. Search for him in coastal villages in order to find out more about the Haida legend of Moby Dick. Now, now, Pacific Northwest is this, and Haida is like an island over here that is not actually depicted on the map. So we've got to actually go and, and I, I'm guessing it's going to be somewhere in like, I don't, I don't know. And by the way, this is a really good place to sell stuff. It's a low-level market. Okay, boom. I cannot get a job. It's not not the right place for it. All right, so let's go to let's go to New Zealand first. And if it's not, if we can't discover anything in New Zealand, we'll have to go to Honolulu. And I know I can turn in the quest, but I don't really want to. Not yet. I can do this. There's that quest in the Mediterranean. This is crazy. I wish I knew where to go. I bet it's gonna be somewhere over here, though. I mean, it has to be somewhere over here. Either in Honolulu or... Where, what is it? Karakoa or something like that? Or... Koro... 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 <laughs> okay. Alright. Um, alright. So... And it's... Hold on, wait a second. There's no upgrade possible. Is there a thing? Oh, upgrade ready there. Alright, fine. Um, <laughs> probably if I go here, if I go from here to Nantucket, then probably the upgrade is gonna be done. And then I can, and then I can uh, and then I can do the captain's cabin. I really want the captain's cabin. We don't have one yet. Alright, so we're going over here to Honolulu. Boom. And by the way, I don't actually have... My game. Oh, mother's letter informed that your finan their financial situation has improved. The business your father invested money has turned has to has started to turn a profit. Your father made you a business partner to repay you for your generosity. The envelope contains some money, a sort of first payment for your new business. Good for them. I get two hundred bucks. Wait, a lot of money that I have now. We can also, after Honolulu, we could just stock up some supplies and hunt some sperm whale. I'm really hoping that we find something over here. Do we have to, like, go along the coast, though? I mean, I feel like... Like, what... Is that what we have to do? We got jobs. New Whaling Area. Rebecca's Destiny. From Honolulu to Peterhead? What? Let's take it. Alright, we can also... Actually, we can upgrade the captain's cabin here. Just get one and then research. And now we have a captain's cabin there. Very cool. 
That's gonna be an awesome freaking thing. It's very slow, right? The schooner. Oh, oh, we can upgrade to a better schooner. This is not a better schooner. This is not a better one. All right, it's fine. Okay, and I did not actually have to uh, to record today. I didn't. I didn't need to because I'm all done with Nantucket for like a, a while because I've got up to episode nine recorded and today episode five was released. So I don't actually have to, but I really want to record a new video with my uh, with my new mic. Okay, that's done in Peterhead. Let's get the sperm whale here. We're actually running a little bit low on Grog, but I think it'll be alright. We didn't discover anything about the main quest. I feel like we might have to go just like the Pacific Northwest. Hunt whales. Yeah, we can hunt some whales, dude. Searching. Over the whale boats. Lead the hunt. Last you. Very cool. Alright. Oh, what? An old and an adult? What? That sucks. Well, we can... Almost kill this one. Dang it, man. We can almost kill this one. And nobody's gonna get overboard on this. And then we can just do that. And he's stunned. But I wonder if he's now immersed. Okay. That's a really good attack, though. Hunting dice sides won't enable commands. Dude, that sucks. Okay, first aid, which I don't really need to do. Um, let's just attack or uh, protect Perry, I guess. This is first aid, so just I see 15 out of 30, so that would fully heal him. Any one of these would fully heal, but but uh, my scientist has the least. And of course, he doesn't get he doesn't go overboard. Okay, so I want to attack this and. Destroy him. Kill him. But I also want to attack this guy and minus 20 hit points. Very cool. And he's also stunned, but then he dies, so he can't actually do anything, but it does give me a chance to heal if I need to man. Which I can't, because... Dang it, man. What does this do? Oh, that's only for pirates. Okay, I mean, it's all I can really do. They were stunned. Oh, what? My scientist is stunned! Oh, that's so bad! Okay, well, let's attack with both of these guys. And he's not- he doesn't get- he doesn't get the bleeding position. Alright, that sucks. Boom. Okay, that's fine. We're still gonna kill him. Alright, we killed two sperm whales. These guys- these guys are probably gonna give a lot of blubber. Dude, 77 barrels of blubber. What the frick? That's so much blubber. What? Alright. Let's go over here, shall we? Let's just go over to Imbatuba. Oh no, thanks but no thanks. Just make him lose, lose five morale. Harry is, uh, he's gay. Gay guy. Um. All right, so. Imbatuba, at least we're all fine. Oh, at least we're all fine. You assign a man with no cooking experience to the kitchen. His meals are feeble, unappealing, and tiresome. Dang it, man. Dude, that's bad. Only Gabriel, though. Oh, that's fine. And everybody loses some morale. That's fine. My morale has been much lower in the past, so... We're just gonna get some money here. We've got tons of money now. And a new issue of the newspaper. Mender of the Uni Unitarian Party... Rivadavia becomes the first president of Argentina. Okay, that news is kind of relevant to this area. But... And this is also a good place to sell food. It's $29 a barrel, whereas it's usually less if you get a better a better harbor. Or a better uh, thing. Okay, sail away, and then we're going to... No, we're not going to Nantucket, because we already started research of the captain's cabin. So... We're actually going to go to the new whaling area here, the potential new whaling area, I should say. And I think probably we're just gonna go back to Honolulu and then search along this coastline, because I feel like there's gonna be something there. I feel like there will be. So, I mean, let's just try. Okay, lower the whale boats. It's a shark encounter. Okay, last used, boom. Let's continue, we're fine. 
Object dice size don't enable commands. That kind of sucks. Um, switch to sailing. Okay, we got two old sharks and one young shark. I'm gonna do the lesser amount of damage to the young shark to kill it instantly. All right, then it takes away one of the attacks. And then, I'm just gonna kill this. Funny how bleeding damage is plus 100%, but you can't do anything you can do it. Boom. Remember, commands cannot target sea creatures. All right, that's fine. And then we can actually kill this guy. Boom. He's dead. And then we can do the emergency kit. Everybody gets healed by a weapon. Boom, he's immersed. Um, I can't really do anything here. Dang it, man. I can't I can't do anything. Alright, that's fine. Uh creatures play their face their cards face up. That's good. And we can just I think we can kill this guy now. Yeah. Kill him, boom. Kill the shark, we get shark meat. I, I guess we're having shark steak. <laughs> it takes some barrels of food. And then we're going to Honolulu. Is that is that right? I think we're going to Honolulu. Just well, we could. We could just go along the the west coast. Like not a problem for me. Okay, get the gourmet nature, whatever. Alright, let's just go over here. Let's let's sail along this coast and let's see what we can discover. And I'm just gonna do this, and this will be like after days of exploring the coast, you follow a strip planked canoe to a small Chumash village. Women braid baskets outside their bull rush hunts, while the men you followed unload the fish they caught. Let us help the village requirement student. The young Chumash man tries to speak with you in his language with animosity, and when he realizes you do not understand him, he starts speaking what sounds like Spanish to you. No Spanish, no Spanish, no English. English? The man gestures you to wait, walking the direction he came by. He turns back every few steps to be sure you stay there. A lot of children gather around you. The young Chumash man comes back a few minutes later, accompanied by a priest. The religious man greets you. What brings you here, friend? Looking for a young American man named Adam Cowden. There is no American man here. I'm sorry, says Adam. The priest speaks with the Chumash man for a while in Spanish before speaking to you again. He told me a young man came here weeks ago. They could not understand him. A few days later, he left. People started to get sick. That is why I'm here. Cursed him. Was he ill? Yes, he probably had some sort of flu. I'm trying to understand. Let my doctor be. Reese invites you to follow him into a big hut where he's collected all the ill people, mainly children and the elderly. They do not want to follow me at the mission, and I do not know what to do. Let me take a look at him. If that's if you're a scientist, let us run some tests. That's if you have a sick bay. Or let my doctor visit them. Your man visits a few patients, and then he approaches you and the priest. It looks like scarlet fever. The priest takes your hand. There's a famous healer living in Modoc Village north of here. If you can ask if you can ask for her help in this, I'm sure we could save their lives, and maybe they will have seen the man you were looking for. I will help you. I will speak, speak with a Modoc healer. Okay, so oh, we're actually already going there. What? Okay. Following the instructions you have, you reach yet another indigenous village. This one looks different from the other ones you have seen. It has wooden huts with big wooden totems guarding them. Different canoes are already in the waters, filled with warriors with painted faces. Okay. Uh, to speak with your healer. The war canoes move away, letting you lower the whaleboat and approach the village. You move through hostile and fierce faces, reaching the mainland. The tribe's chief waits for you with his huge feather hat and a mace in his hand. He does not look hostile, but he does not. Uh, but he does look dangerous and imposing. A young warrior speaks for him. Why do you need to speak for our healer? Scarlet Fever, they need your help. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the hut looks like a primitive herbalist shop with hundreds of herb baskets lying around. An old man sits by a fire speaking with a young white man in a language you do not understand. Adam, I'm actually looking for you. Guess who's there? You spend some minutes together briefly explaining your mission. He tells you that the purpose of his travels is to learn these people's stories. When you mention the Chumash village, he feels terribly sorry that he brought illness upon him. I will take care of it with the healer. Thank you for telling me. Any more information about the white whale and the Ida people? You have to speak with the source of my Haida stories. He is a blind storyteller called Skay. 
Here we go. We completed this. We're getting closer to Moby Dick, wondering about its secrets. I was yearning to slay the beast, but not as much as looking at it in fear. Okay. Kind of looking at it in fear. Before you leave, I'm kind of rifles through his pockets and offers you a small wooden sculpture. We could go good omen. Okay, if it's on the crew, then it's morale plus 20, plus 5 morale to all crew members if I have any crew. Is there anyone that does not have an object? Here. Give this to him. Morale plus 20 to this guy. Dude, this guy has a lot. Alright guys, so I think I'm gonna end the gameplay here. I'm gonna go ahead and save. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. If the microphone is doing all right, then please let me know that in the comments below. Um, that being said, I will see you guys next time.